In this video, I'm going to share with you the categories of customers I have on my farm. I sell pigs, but I don't always sell them of, uh, at the same age. I sell them in categories. Some weighing 20 kilos, some weighing 30, 40 to 180 thereabouts. And the reason why I raise pigs to that stage and then have all these categories that I sell is that personally, I want to breed these animals and sell them for meat. Okay, that is what I want to do in my area because that is what my people want. They don't want to start pig farm. Those who even had interest lose it after starting. So they will just want to buy and slaughter for meat. So the goal is to produce pigs in various categories. And the reason being that initially I, had, I always raise my pigs to above 70 kilos before I sell them. But I go to a time, the, the, the customers started coming and then complaining small, small that uh, I, wanted, I wanted to get this pig for my, my, my family, but I can't afford the entire price. I'm get, going to get other people to, to come and add joint before you buy it. I don't really feel comfortable doing that. So what I want you to do is uh, produce pig in this category for me. My family and I, we can afford something between uh, 30 to 40 k kilos. So with that, I can afford and I'll buy it and give it to my, to my family. Another one to also come that we want the biggest pig on the farm. So we are always a, 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 a team. We are always a team of 12 people. We do this uh, collaboration to help each other on their farms. So whenever there is an occasion, we come together, have some fun, enjoy ourselves and go back. So we are a group of 13, we want a pig, the biggest, within this range. At least if anybody, each person should contribute 500 cities, even we can afford that particular pig. That's okay. And different people also can agree to, we are just two people. We want a pig to, which will weigh between 50 to 60. That way we can afford it for our families. So do that. From there, I started listening to what their, their complaints are. After grabbing this uh, this concept, I always ensure that I had the uh, pigs within those ranges. And one man even made a funny comment about uh, why he came to say he wanted a winner to go and slaughter. I asked him, why do you want a winner? He said, winners are not yet fully matured and their bones are not that hard. If I slaughter, I can break the bones in addition to the flesh I'll get. I don't want to leave anything out. So that's what me, I want the winners so that I can enjoy everything. Another person to like, no, no, really for us, we want the biggest one, the one with fully grown bones and hardened bones. So those are the ones we want. And our reason was also very simple. We want to eat the meat and leave these hard bones, hang them somewhere for them to dry, just to let it be there for future generations to see that at least we also made money and we were able to buy meat some time ago in case they come and we are not able to afford meat. They get to see the bones, just an evidence that we also had our good time by eating meat. People can never stop being funny on the farm. Anyway, mine is just here to meet your, your demand and what you request. So you want people, uh, pigs between 30 and 40. You also want 50 to 60. And you people want the biggest one, 150, 180 kilos. Fine, I can just do that for you. So from there, what, one thing is these people, they don't always buy for me like monthly. Like every six months, I sell a batch. Another six months, sell a batch. Because basically, I've not started processing pork myself. So I get the people, give them a, a, a green pig, they go and sell themselves. So this is why I make sure always I meet their target. Like I meet the time within which they request for such animals on the farm. So if this family know they want the 30 kilos, I always ensure that I raise a pig, which will be ready or will gain that weight within that particular time. And I give it to those people. And for the, the, uh, the bigger ones too, I make sure if I want to supply to them maybe somewhere December, I make sure I select a particular pig or two on the farm by February and I start raising them there. They are felt very special to the extent that before December, they had already crossed the 120 kilos, which I can just give it to these people to also satisfy their desire. So that's the reason why I always sell winners, growers and finishers all along on the farm because people have different preferences when they come, I want this and I don't want to add to these people. I want everything to be private for me and my family alone. So no joint, uh, collaborations with anybody and no pork sharing. I just want to take the entire pig, life, carry it to my house. 